Well, this video from UWGB Libraries will walk you through developing and narrowing your research question. For this video, we are going to use the broad research topic of global warming as an example. Step 1. Think about what interests you about the topic. Whether you've been assigned a broad topic or have to come up with something on your own, think about what interests you. Even if you're not a fan of the topic, trying to find some aspect you're interested in will make the research process much more enjoyable. If I was an education major, for example, I might focus on policies about teaching climate change in schools. Step 2. Conduct background research. The first natural step will be to see what's out there by doing some internet searching. This is a totally normal and acceptable part of the process. While you should never cite Wikipedia as a source, Wikipedia can be a great tool for helping you learn general background information about your topic. The footnotes in Wikipedia might lead you to a credible source like a book or article you can cite and use for your research later on. Remember to evaluate each source you find for credibility before using. Books are also great resources for learning background information. You don't need to read the whole book, sometimes just the introduction or a chapter is all you need. Step 3. Develop a research question. After doing a bit of research, try and formulate a question. Your question can and will change as you research more, which is normal and totally okay part of the process. My research question is, how does global warming affect the environment? Notice that this is still a pretty broad research question. I will need to narrow even more. Step 4. Conduct more research. At this point, you may want to switch over from Google to use more academic sources through the library. As you begin to conduct more research and see what other researchers are saying or are focused on, you will naturally begin to narrow or even change your topic as you find another aspect that interests you. Step 5. Continue the narrowing process. As you can see with this funnel, my assigned topic was the environment, which I narrowed to global warming. As I researched, I began to explore different types of global warming and narrowed to pollution, then specifically to water pollution. I began to then think of my interests and how this affected me. I really enjoy fishing, so I began to think about the different types of water pollution that affected where I lived in the Midwest. My end result was focusing on invasive species. Step 6. Refine your research question. My new research question is, how do invasive species contribute to water pollution in the Midwest? Notice with this new research question, I have identified a specific type of pollution, a specific cause, and a specific location. This is now a manageable research question to explore. Step 7. Continue with your research. Your research question may change yet again at this point in the process. You may be feeling frustrated about finding sources and want to change your topic entirely. This is okay to do. Before you make that decision, pause and think about the five W's. Who is impacted by this topic? Scientists, doctors, archivists, members from the LGBTQ community or immigrant communities, a government organization. This might help you decide who is providing the information you need and where to look for it. What are the major concepts or questions? What is controversial about this topic? This might help you think about new keywords to try in your search. When was your topic important? Is it still happening? When was the information about this being published? Is it still? You may need to add in a date limiter to get more relevant search results. Where is this topic important? Is it a local problem where I would need to look in a local newspaper? Is this a national problem? Do I need to look for research from scholars in another country? Why did you choose this topic? Why do you want to know more? Thinking about these questions should hopefully help you narrow down what you still need to find and where to look for it. It could be that you simply need to adjust your search terms to get more relevant results. If you're still stuck, you can always ask a librarian for research help, no matter what stage you're at in the research process. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions about developing or narrowing your research question, please contact a librarian by visiting our research help page.